Okay, in this video, we're going to review what are playlists. So playlists are our collection of charts that you could build for your own reference later in the future, either if you want to analyze them later or if you want to trade them in the market replay later on. Okay. I, will, I personally, the way how I use it is I build a playlist for each of the setups or strategies that I use. So I'm going to uh, take you here to my library. In my library, you here you see the playlist that I have, okay, created. As you can see, each one of the playlists and names represents a um, strategy or setup that I have created. And I'm inserting into such playlists uh, charts that have that specific setup. Why am I doing that? Again, for my reference, so I can analyze the chart. I can better understand the charts and I can become a better trader. Now, not only by uh, looking at the charts, but also by trading those charts, okay? So I'm gonna click here, for example, red to green, I'm gonna uh, click on start playlist here, and then I'm gonna be able to retrade that chart, okay? So that is how we use and how we encourage people to use a playlist. Right, so now let's go through the beginning here, which I'm going to go back to my homepage. I'm going to go back to my library. I'm going to create a new playlist. In this case, I'm going to show you how to create a new playlist. I'm going to call it red to green, um, too, because I have already one here already created. I can put a description if I want, a description about this playlist. I'm not going to create one for now. So what I see here now, it's a screen that allows me to add charts to that playlist. Now you might know or might not know which charts you want to add. If you have saved them on a screenshot before or from your journal, you can add them from your journal to here and, and slowly start adding them, the charts that you know that are uh, playing this specific setup. Now, in my case, I, I don't know right now. So the way how I handle it is that I create the setup playlist and then as I'm trading uh, during my regular trading days, if I detect that a chart has that specific setup, uh, then I come here and then I Google, uh, not Google, but I search the chart, okay? And then they say that it was Apple uh, for a specific which date the setup show, this one, and then I click, okay, add chart to that specific playlist. Now, uh, with that, I can go back to my library. I created this red to green too. And then I can see that I added Apple on this specific day that show that specific setup. And then I can look at the chart by clicking on start playlist. I can look at the Apple chart of how did it play up. And I can just fast forward to look at the entire chart. And I can, uh, of course, uh, run different aggregation times. Or I can just simply, you know what, I'm going to retrace this chart and see how I truly perform uh, when I'm trading this specific setup red right to green. I will go back, click on play, and then I can start placing my trades here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna place a dummy trade. So I'm gonna say 10,000, okay? Buy 10,000 of Apple, of course, none of us have that kind of money, but it's just an example. Um, then I'm gonna sell that uh, whenever I think is a shoe sell. Just give you an example very quickly. There we go. So I made $900 on Apple. What I did again is to replay that chart, replay that setup, and see how how did I perform. And now I can I can do this over and over and over. Uh, in and the goal is for me to improve on detecting a better entries, better exits on the charts, detecting better the chart patterns and everything around it. Uh, once I'm done trading with this chart, uh, I can just click on next symbol and it's going to uh, mark the symbol as traded and it's going to go next to um it's going to go to the next symbol which is this one right here for the purpose of this example i'm just going to show you another a uh, playlist that i was trading uh, earlier today i'm just going to go back to my playlist it was this one going back to this one perfect okay i was trading tesla make sixty eight thousand. click on next and then it's going to take me to the next symbol Right, so here it took me to the next symbol, which is this one. It seems that there is no liquidity on this one. And perhaps I added a symbol that has nothing. So I can decide to whether skip this symbol and click on another one. Uh, or I can wait and to see if the, the chart shows up. Okay, so here there's something interesting. I want to put a 5x again, just to give you an example. I want to trade 10,000 shares on this one. I want to click on buy. Perfect. And then I'm going to be prepared to sell that. Uh, again, we're just showing you an example. Here we go. <coughs> Sorry. 
Okay, so now I lost 130 on this one. There we go. So I clearly I'm not doing well on this uh, playlist. Um, but I can come back at any time. I can um, go to normal speed. I can pause it and say, okay, I'm gonna take a break and I wanna see, okay, what did I do wrong? And then I'm gonna, I can decide to restart this playlist if I wanted to. So um, if I clearly started wrong with the wrong a foot right here uh, so I can just say okay you know what I'm just gonna reset the playlist which is gonna set every number to zero it's gonna erase my orders and I can do it again the idea is for you to uh, this is your ground uh, to to you know to go ahead and practice 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 a uh, paper trading uh, for you to really understand and your setup and you really improve your edge okay now, if I go back to uh, my playlist, uh, I want to see something is interesting here. I want to see what is my best PL of this playlist. So, um, this is what <laughs> my best PL of the playlist, my 62,000. So, clearly, I'm not doing well. I should be uh, either completing this uh, playlist or uh, perhaps starting all over and see if I can rearrange my, uh, my entries and my exits. Uh, I see here the average PNL. Average PNL is the average PNL of all the users that have traded this playlist. Once something important for you to know is that once you create a playlist, this playlist is going to be available for the public to see. So the public can trade your playlist. And the idea is for you to compare yourself, uh, your uh, performance against the public, and see how you're doing. So let's just say that. Uh, as an example, the public is has two hundred dollars as average PNL, and you have ten dollars. So clearly, you're under the average. So clearly, there's something uh, that you're not getting. There's something that an opportunity for you to improve. Okay. Now, here, what else we see here on this playlist? And so we see price range, a uh, percentage range, and volume range. Uh, here, uh, basically, what it's taking is taking all the charts here that we have under the playlist, and it's taking what are the range of the price that you're trading, what are the range of the percentage change, and what are the range of the volumes that you're trading here, okay? First column represents a traded, which means a, which charts I have traded. So I have completed two charts out of the, maybe I have here around seven, um, okay? This is telling me the ticker, it's telling me the date of the chart, this is telling me the price range of the chart, which is the lowest of the day, the highest of the day. Same thing for percentage change, and the volume is just accumulative. The year is the year of the chart. And then the tags represent if I have personally tagged a, this chart with uh, any interesting tags, or the public can tag this as well. And they can also tag it with a strategy or setups. Again, the idea is that how do we use this collection of charts to for us to improve our age? So normally, the way how you will perhaps practice a training is that you will get a simulator a, and a, well, just a, click on play on simulator or you're not, perhaps not clicking play because you're viewing the live a, market and then uh, you're waiting for your setup to show. If your setup to show, if your setup shows then you proceed uh, to practice your uh, your setup. The problem with that is that you have to wait, let's say, eight hours looking at the screen to see if the setup shows up in your screen. It might show up, it might not. If it shows up, there is a very narrow opportunity for you uh, to have a good entry and good a good exit. So the out of eight hours that you put into the market, maybe, maybe you got a... Uh, 30 minutes of uh, an actual experience. With this, if you're collecting uh, the charts, you can get more experience, more time of experience, because now you're trading the charts. You know that your setup is in these charts. You just have to now a uh, practice on those charts that you already know that it exists there. So no longer you have to wait eight hours. You can just go straight to the charts and practice a setup over and over and over. And only and only when you have mastered uh, that uh, playlist for that specific setup, then it's when I will encourage someone to go to a live trading and say, okay, well, you clearly uh, have trained, have gained experience from that. Uh, your average PNL uh, or your best PNL seems to be uh, quite good. Uh, so hopefully now with this training, you could go ahead in the live market and uh, apply 
all that experience that you just gain. So you could gain, a, let's say, a month worth of experience in one day if you uh, go through this playlist. Now, uh, this is a very new product, so uh, you might see or not a playlist here when you're searching. And the idea is that as you create playlists, it's going to be available for the community and the community, they can create playlists and it's going to be available for you. Um, so you could search for a specific playlist, let's say for an influencer that you might like uh, and see if they have a playlist and hopefully you trade that such playlist to train yourself to gain more experience. Okay, so there is a couple of things you could do. I'm gonna right click here. I'm gonna I'm, I'm in the search for a playlist. So every every line that I see here is a playlist. So I could either start a playlist that I have seen that I that I like. I could view this playlist to see what's the content, what are the charts. I could share this playlist, uh, copy this link and send it to a friend. Uh, this friend doesn't have to have an account with us to view the play the content of the playlist, but to trade it, they do have to have an account. You can add it to your own library. So there's two ways to add it. You can copy the playlist, which means you're going to copy exactly the content of that playlist, or you could follow the playlist. If you follow the playlist, the advantage is that if, let's say, the influencer, you're copying, you're following a playlist that is an influencer created. So if the influencer adds more charts to that playlist because you're following, you're going to continue to see those new charts showing up in your playlist. So Normally, if I'm following, if I'm taking a playlist from someone that I admire, that I want to uh, uh, learn from, I click on follow, uh, and then it's going to be automatically then added. This playlist is called Omar. Uh, it's it's going to be automatically added here. So if this person adds new charts to this playlist, I'm going to be able to see those here. Okay. And then I can trade it as we saw at the beginning of the video. Now, a couple of other things that we should be aware of um, here when I go back to my playlist and I want to click on play this playlist. So let's assume that I already played this playlist uh, many times uh, and I perhaps already know by memory exactly what's happening. So what I normally do is I toggle this one. I toggle this, which is going to hide the ticker symbol. So I don't log it. I, I won't log it. I won't know uh, which ticker symbol on which day I'm trading. So I'm only depending on what I see on the chart. So I click here uh, or whichever, right? Like right now, for example, I don't know which chart I'm trading, which sticker symbol. So I'm depending only on my technical analysis and on the chart. So the idea is that for you to retrain yourself in, and not to memorize exactly each one of the charts, even though it's very statistically uh, almost impossible that you could memorize those charts if you have more than 10 or or, or more. Okay, so that's playlist. I hope um, you use it and I hope that the, the community takes advantage of the playlist that you create and you take advantage of the, the playlist that the community creates and we can improve together as a team here.